Okay, so the questions are, let's see here. Uh, how do I control light contribution to say diffuse SS specular? And how can I, for example, have a material object not contribute to indirect light? Okay, so uh, I need to add one more thing here. So let me, uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste this second and we'll call this grid, grid here. Okay. So here's here's our our simple little scene. Um, we have we have a, a sphere and a grid and a singular directional light. And so for the first question of how do you control uh, components, um, if you come on the light, you'll see this contributions tab. And if you click the plus sign, it gives you this component, and we can say diffuse. Now it doesn't seem to do anything. Well, that's because you're telling it what components you want to exclude by turning this off. And so now we can see there is no diffuse component um, anymore on our scene. And so we can enable that and turn that off and we can say any diffuse, right? And so there's, it shows you kind of the syntax that it uses, uh, you know, direct lighting. So we can turn that off and get just the indirect for that light. Um, and this is all light based, right? So um, and it's a little strange to me. To me, this seems like this would be contributions. I could select this and it would negate everything else and I could add the other things I wanted. Um, you can add as many of these as you would like and you know, break these out and then turn them on and off. Uh, it's a little weird, to be honest with you, how this works. Um, but that, that's essentially how that works. Now, as far as the second question, which is how can I um, uh, control um, contributing to indirect light if we select say like our grid and we under the rendering tab we see render visibility and this is a lot like Maya we click here and we see we have uh, you know different opportunities so there's just primary rays uh, for that for the grid so it's not contributing any um, reflections it's not contributing uh, uh, any uh, secondary bounce um, and so this is you know you know, kind of, you know, primary and then invisible to diffuse rays. Uh, you know, you can kind of play with these. Um, there you go. And so we, we see kind of what these are. There, there's unrenderable. And so let's, let's move this up because this will help if we move this up a little bit. There we go. Right, so, you know, we can kind of see uh, primary and shadow. I'm not sure what the difference is there. Uh, all right, we'll keep that at all. Now with the sphere, we'll do the same thing and say only to primary rays. And then we can say only to uh, primary and shadow. And then we can tell it to be phantom object, just diffuse, visible to secondary. And not all this is doing what I would expect, to be honest with you. So th those would kind of be the two ways that you would play with some of that. You know, you you know, if there's an object you're not wanting to contribute, you know, obviously, you know, by doing that, you can see that it's it's not contributing to those other rays. Now, if we put a second sphere in here. Um, Take this and we're going to move it in the negative point. It's too far. I want to go negative point two five, so that way it's in there. And we can see that this is bouncing light, right? So our grid has been set to only primary rays, but our, our second sphere here is still, you know, contributing. And so uh, we're going to say, make this invisible to, uh, visible to secondary rays and now we can see it's not contributing into that sphere anymore so um you know you can play with these and see if it gets you the effect that you're wanting so i think i'm hoping that answers your question um per material um i i don't know of a way to do that per material to be honest with you um not on the principled shader anyway uh, I suppose that there's a way that you could, I, I view that as always an object override, like in V-Ray, 
Um, and in uh, Maya, uh, I'm not Arnold savvy, so I can't say how Arnold would, would handle that. But uh, anyhow, I uh, hope this helps and uh, let me know.